let's look at some uh, exchange problems. Okay, so let me write an example. Suppose uh, these are the rates that I've got from the website as on today. It says, say, one New Zealand dollars is uh, 0 0.8947, 8947 Australian dollars. Okay, a dollar means Australian dollar. One New Zealand dollar is 0.8947. Australian dollars. So the question is, if you have say 300 Australian dollars is dollar, Australian dollars, how many New Zealand dollars would you get? Now when you have a problem like this, the question is, if you've got 300 Australian dollars, how much would this be? So let's understand logically first. Now this is one dollar and this is 0.8947 or this is about 90 cents. Okay, so you can say this is roughly 90 cents. So for 90 cents, roughly 90 cents, you're going to get one dollar. So whatever this answer, this answer has to be greater than 300. As has to be greater than 300 because I hope you know one is greater than 0.8947. So if one is greater than eight nine eight nine four seven, if one is greater than eight nine four seven, this answer has to be greater than three hundred. So well, what should I do to these two numbers to get to this answer? So what would happen if you multiply three hundred to point eight nine four seven? So let's multiply and see whether the answer makes sense. So point zero point eight nine four seven times 300 is 268. Does the answer make sense? No. Well, because this has to be greater than 300. So let's cancel this and let's go 300 divided by 0.8947 equal. So this is 335 uh, New Zealand dollar 335.3 .3. so you can say 300 Australian dollars is what was the number 335.3 .3 in one DP so you can say in in New Zealand dollars it will be 335.3 335.3 New Zealand dollars okay let's do one more example so what happens if it's one New Zealand dollar, New Zealand dollar, New Zealand dollar, NZ. One New Zealand dollar is equal to, uh, this is Singapore, so I'll write S dollar, this is Singapore dollars, so it's 1.05 Singapore dollars. In Singapore you use dollars so this is a s stands for singapore dollars so yeah i should understand uh we can very easily see that one is less than 1.05 one is less than 1.05 if suppose you have got someone has got say 500 500 uh, so Singapore dollars, how much would this be? Well, this number has to be less than 500. So let's do 500 times 1.05. This is 525. The answer doesn't make sense because this number has to be less. So I should go 500 divided by 1.05. It is 476.2 uh, New Zealand dollars. For rounding it into one DP, or if you want to round in two DP, it is 476.19. So it is 476.19 New Zealand dollars. It does make sense because this has to be less than 500. Okay, let me finish up with one more question. 
you got one New Zealand dollars is 0.6214 euros okay I don't know euros they write like this I hope so I'm not sure okay this is euros this is a notation for euros so what's the relation between one and which is greater well this is greater one is greater than 0.6214 and someone has got say two 250 euros you got 250 euros well this number has to be greater than 250 so should you divide or multiply so let's first multiply 250 250 times 0 0.6214 now before now this is of course trial and error when you're multiplying by point 6214 to 200 the number would be less than 250 so let's see is 155 it doesn't make sense so when you're dividing by decimal between 0 and 1 the number becomes bigger and if you're multiplying the number becomes smaller so as if you divide by 0 0.6214 0 0.6214 the number is 6214 six two one four equal so four hundred and two New Zealand dollars four seventy four hundred and two point three two two and two DP four zero two point three two so the answer is four hundred and two point three two New Zealand dollars and it does make sense